In 1999, the government announced a regeneration scheme called the New Deal for Communities programme, aimed at tackling issues in some of England's most deprived areas. In 2001, the government confirmed that Marsh Farm in Luton had won the right to apply for a total of £48.8 million over the next 10 years. This film highlights the story and impact on what the funding and challenging work over the last 10 years has achieved. My name is Anthony Jules. I was a former program director of the Trust um, between 2001 and 2003, and more recently the capacity building manager between 2005 and 2008. Now during that time, the latter period, we engaged with residents to transform this estate. And one of the best um, example of that was the improvement of the roads, the car parking facilities, the play areas, and also state-of-the-art lighting. Um, more importantly though, it was the residents themselves who were involved in the design, working alongside the consultants in bringing about the transformation. They spent many weeks and months actually going over the designs with the consultants, with their colleagues, to ensure that what was implemented was exactly what they wanted. And that, in my mind, is the best form of engagement of local people in transforming their estate. I'm Anton Neville, the Partnership Manager. I first of all became involved in November 2000. At that time, we didn't have a proper name for the organisation or even a structure. One of my first proposals was to propose a name that it is the Mars Farm Community Development Trust, and then the MF logo. I joined the Shadow Board and remained on the board for a five-year period until 2005. At that time, I became the Partnership Manager. As Partnership Manager, I had two sort of major roles. One was to recruit local people into the organisation and then to recruit young people into the organisation. With regard to local residents, I learned that it was really important to not only recruit people but then to train people. Hi, I'm Craig Donohoe. I've been brought up in, in Marsh Farm since 1987. I've had training to become a local director of the Marsh Farm Board and I've been that since 2009. There have been so many highlights of the programme for me, but particularly it's the feeling now that I don't have to escape from Marsh Farm. But now I realise through empowerment and support to create my own local project here, the feeling of making a positive difference to people here feels better than to keep travelling abroad. My name is Mohit Shah and I'm the Building Services Manager for the building. Over the years, I've seen a lot of changes for the better in the Marsh Farm Estate. One of the highlights has been the move from the old Cirque building to the new Cirque building. What I've learned about the NDC program is that it has been there to help the local residents. My name is Mark Hayden. I've worked for the Marsh Farm Trust since October 2009 as a Building Services Administrator. I feel I've got from the Trust an appreciation of local matters and local life through the projects that the Trust delivers. I've been involved with these projects through my own particular role as the Building Services Administrator and I've helped to play a part in facilitating the aims of the Trust in respect to the local community. I'm Parveen Akhtar and I'm currently employed as the Marsh Farm Bursary Fund Project Manager. I have been a resident of Marsh Farm for the past 10 years. The Trust has supported me in gaining professional qualification and I believe the most important skill I have gained through Trust is being able to work with the residents to meet the individual needs. Hello, my name is Antoinette. I'm the Project Manager for Turning Corners Plus. I've joined the company April 2010. Since joining the company, I have looked and I've observed the way how this community has developed. Now, when I take it back to the former years, when I first came into learning about the Marsh Farm Community Development Trust, I used to attend a lot of the meetings. And in attending those meetings, I was able to put forward ideas and things that I feel that the community needed. Since attending those meetings and over the years, I've seen how suggestions that I've made has taken place, whereas things like the lighting within the community, um, pathways that I wanted to be put into place has been built, and also my family's benefited from the project. 
um, by gaining employment, training skills and also work. Currently I work with Turning Corners Project and I'm employed to give information, advice and guidance and that's local people to get them into employment, education and training. Um, in the very beginning of the process um, I worked as a volunteer in a local cafe and we were asked to take part in the bidding process for regeneration. Um, I've worked as a shadow board member for the health theme, looking at provisions on Marsh Farm and those gaps that were missing. So we've worked with partner organisations in providing those gaps. My name is Lorraine Whitmore. I first got involved with the Trust when I came in to see the Lone Parent Advisor and she encouraged me to apply for a resource library administrator role in the Trust, which I was successful in getting. That was nearly four years ago now. The Trust has made a huge impact on my life. I was struggling to bring up my three girls alone. I'd been on benefits for some time. During my time here, I've gained so much experience and qualifications. My information advice and guidance level four, which I use in my present role as a information advice and guidance support officer in the Turning Corners project. Also my um, bid writing level three and my um, recent award that I got for achievement. Um, the trust has, has you know, supported me all through that and I've loved every, every minute of it. I think I'll be taking a lot of good memories from the Trust and it's boosted my confidence, my self-esteem and my knowledge. My name is Sharon Johnson and I'm an employment advisor for Turning Corners Plus which is part of Marsh Farm Community Development Trust. It's a 10-year programme supporting people into employment and to access training. Over the years one of my key achievements is to treat people as individuals working one-to-one, -one, helping them with CV, application forms, and looking at courses that build their self-confidence. So for me, the key achievement over the last 10 years is knowing that I feel a difference has been made to improving the success of people on the estate, and that's through employment, training, or just building their confidence to go after that job. My name's Dave Boyle. I'm the temporary superintendent at uh, Luton Police Station. I have specific responsibilities uh, for community policing and, and partnership arrangements um, and I've been doing that for about three years. Um, I've had contact uh, with uh, the Marsh Farm Trust uh, throughout that period, uh, both in terms of my res management responsibilities for safer neighbourhood teams that, uh, that work in Marsh Farm, but also as a member of the, uh, of the Trust Board. The Safer Neighbourhood teams in Marsh Farm have been greatly supported by the Trust over this past, uh, these past years. Uh, the other initiatives are, are actually um, uh, financial support for the policing teams here as a whole and uh, in particular community support officers. But it goes much beyond that, it goes very much into the, the number of initiatives that have taken place, uh, including burglary reduction initiatives, the introduction of smart water into Marsh Farm, which has seen a really significant reduction of overall burglaries over these past, uh, past few years. Uh, and also the, uh, the ability to work well with the young people in Marsh Farm. Uh, and the Trust has really introduced us to a number of forums where we've had much better contact with young people and we've, as a result we've been able to engage them in more positive activities. Seeing the uh, police officers and CSOs being seen as good positive role models within our youth, uh, within our youth communities. Uh, and as a result we're seeing a reduction in youth-related crime and youth-related antisocial behaviour. My name's Roger Mason and I work for VE Parrot, building contractors from Oakley. We've just finished construction of 24 flats at Jeremiah Smith House in association with Marsh Farm Trust and Old Wick Housing Association. During the build process, we employed 21 local trainees from Marsh Farm area to provide them with units towards NVQ qualifications, which they were working through at local colleges. We also held six taster sessions for residents and students from Lee Manor School to give them an insight into the construction industry. My name's Pete Salisbury. I'm a project manager with Aldwick Housing Group and I've been involved in the new build at Jeremiah Smith House, formerly Wallard's House, on Wallard's Bank Drive since 2009. Uh, Aldwick Housing Group became first involved with the scheme in 2007 uh, when we were invited to uh, take part in a design competition by the Trust and Luton Borough Council. 
nominations for, uh, for Jeremiah Smith House were gained as there was a plan to decant existing residents from Herway Close in Marsh Farm into the new building. So therefore we've worked very closely throughout the build project with the new residents and offered them a choice of finishes so they've been able to choose their kitchens, their flooring uh, and various other items so it will give the, each resident uh, an option and a, a sense of ownership. I'm Graham Beckett, I'm the Finance and Operations Manager here at Marsh Farm Community Development Trust. There's a scene in the Monty Python film, The Life of Brian, where the leader of the ancient Britons asks everybody, what have the Romans ever done for us? One by one, there are answers. The individual starts saying, well, education, irrigation, uh, wine. All the improvements are gradually revealed. Sometimes I feel that's the way we are here at the Marsh Farm Community Development Trust. People ask us, what has the Trust ever done for us? Well, the building we're in is uh, a £9 million investment. It took only 18 months to knock the old building down and put this one up. And the benefits to the community, there are going to be health and uh, care services, uh, community development services available, enterprise space, a play park and a police headquarters. We've invested one and three quarter million pounds uh, in a street lighting system with 750 new lighting columns to make the estate a far safer place to be in at night. Uh, as well as that, we've, we've ensured that residents have combined with the local authority and regeneration experts, Groundworks, to improve sections of the estate. We've divided the estate up into 12 character areas and the residents themselves have decided what needs to happen in terms of improvements to roadways, uh, new paths, um, trees and shrubs planted, and play park areas improved. Those are just the physical improvements. We've also made huge improvements in education. When the trust started, the school, Lee Manor, was in special measures. 2002, only a quarter of the children there achieved 5A star to C's uh, GCSE. That was 24%. Now that figure is 62%. So huge improvements in education. In business and employment, we've helped 32 businesses start up here. So that's 32 people from Marsh Farm who've set themselves up. And of those, 25 are still running. As well as that, we've had people who found work through Turning Corners Employment Agency, and a whole host of people who've taken bursary awards uh, and moved into higher education, further education and training. We have now interviewed local people, many of whom have worked for the organisation, to see how the NDC programme has impacted upon their lives. We've seen the impact the NDC programme has made to residents of Marsh Farm. Clearly, there have been lots of challenges and pressures. It hasn't been a smooth road. Overall, the real difference has been physical, social and economic change and how the residents themselves have improved. We now have a community transformed and empowered and a lasting legacy that will enable the community of Marsh Farm to continue to make positive contributions and ensure continuous and lasting change. We've heard about job creation, improving self-esteem, building the confidence of residents and the whole community working together regardless of their background. All this is community cohesion in action or as the government calls it, localism.